let me share with you which JBL is going to sound the best by letting you listen to each of them. And let's figure out which one is going to be the best value for you, for your wallet, and for your ears. So this is a JBL Clip 5, which is an upgrade from the JBL Clip 4, which was an upgrade from the JBL Clip 3. Because every single generation, these speakers have been getting more powerful and JBL has been adding new features. And finally, you can use the JBL app with the Clip 5, which means you can adjust the EQ inside the app and you can use it with AuraCast, which is a standardized way of just combining two Clip 5s so you can have a more surround sound. And that's something new to the JBL Clip 5, which did not exist with the JBL Clip 4. But what did change is that the JBL Clip 5 is now heavier and it's gonna be coming with a bigger battery. And the speaker inside the JBL Clip 5 has been upgraded from the 5 watt inside the JBL Clip 4 to the 7 watt in the JBL Clip 5. Audio woofer has also been updated. It was a one and a half inch woofer inside of the JBL Clip 4, but now it is a 1.75 inch woofer inside the JBL Clip 5. The JBL Clip 4 also has slightly better frequency range on the low end. So if you're listening to an orchestra, the JBL Clip 4 could sound a little bit more dynamic. Nevertheless, because of the higher volume levels on the Clip 5, most of us won't be able to tell the difference because that's really related to the sub bass. So you would have to be listening to the drum basses as well as the string basses and the flute basses and then combine that all inside of an orchestra to really be able to tell the difference in terms of just that sub bass between the Clip 4 and the Clip 5. Another key difference between the JBL Clip 5 and the Clip 4 is that the Clip 5 will be coming with the new Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.3, which has become pretty much industry standard since the end of 2023. Your JBL Clip 5 will come with a 5.3 watt per hour battery, while your JBL Clip 4 came with a 3.8 watt per hour battery. If you're looking at overall battery life, you're gonna get 10 hours with your Clip 4 and 12 hours with your Clip 5. They also are gonna be using the USB-C charging port that you see on the bottom, and it's gonna take three hours to fully charge both of them from zero to 100% battery life. Both are gonna be IP67, so you can take them to the beach or you could take it to the shower, but don't take a bath in them and don't take them into the water. Your Clip 5 is gonna weigh 0.62 pounds while your Clip 4 weighed 0.53 pounds. So when you hold them side by side, you'll notice that the Clip 4 is gonna feel a little bit sturdier and it's gonna be slightly heavier. Is it that much heavier in terms of overall weight? No, but you will be able to feel the difference, especially if you're hanging this on a finger or you're just strapping it to your bag. Nevertheless, it is still relatively lightweight compared to its competition, even lighter than the new JBL GO 4. Once you get the device, make sure to download the JBL Portable app just so you get the EQ options and it makes faster pairing with your iPhone as well as Android device. And you can see the JBL app is pretty straightforward in terms of what it looks like and what it does. And once you're connected, you'll see that the JBL looks like this. And that JBL app is gonna be very conducive to allowing you to have the best audio performance for your Clip 5. And how does it do that? Well, it gives you the ability to adjust the EQ, something that was missing on multiple JBL devices prior. So you have the JBL signature, you have the chill, energetic, you have vocal, you can also have custom. You have software updates now that are gonna be available for your JBL Clip 5. So if they need to fine tune anything or add features, they can, because now it has the app support, something your JBL Clip 4 did not come with. It also comes with something called Playtime Boost. So that's gonna boost up sound and pro prolong playtime. And that's gonna be louder music with longer playtime. Playtime Boost will boost up the volume of your music, what will consume less battery. Under this mode, EQ is disabled. So let's say you wanna pair multiple JBL products together with the AuraCast. All you have to do is go into your party and you can add the speakers in. So we're gonna add in one speaker and we're gonna add in our JBL Go 4 as well. And now both of our speakers on JBL are gonna be able to play the same music. And it's gonna play on both speakers, guys. Both speakers are playing this. So I hear it here and I hear it on the go. 
So what JBL is doing is giving you the ability to pair these newer speakers together using AuraCast. And that means instead of just being limited by having to use one speaker, now you can have a party just by having two portable speakers. Your friends could come over. All you need to do is just pair them via Bluetooth to your phone and then it'll pair them and put them together similar to how a Sono system would do it or one of the newer Bose systems. And now you're getting that inside of a affordable JBL speaker, which is great value in my opinion. So this is the JBL Go 4, this is the JBL Go 3, and this is the JBL Go 2. And you can really see the progression of the JBL Go's throughout the years because you have the JBL 2 right here. And if you look at it, it is basically just a hard plastic shell speaker. There's no real webbing, there's no protection, and it's a relatively good speaker, but the volume couldn't get super loud. And let's be honest, I wish it had a hook so I could strap it to something. And then JBL made the decision to go to the Go 3, which is one of the best decisions they made in terms of their Bluetooth devices. Because it came with rubber stoppers, the buttons were also rubberized, the bottom was rubberized, and then it wouldn't slip out of your hand so easily. And because the buttons were bigger and easily found, you could find this useful, especially if you're taking it somewhere like to the beach or to the park. Now finally, JBL has also made their Go 4, and their Go 4 is gonna be their latest iteration with more rounded edges, kind of like you see with your iPhones, JBL's just making everything a little bit smoother and better packaged. And it's also becoming with a bigger strap, but not big enough that you could fit two fingers inside, just one finger and maybe a thumb versus on the Go 3, which had a little bit of a smaller home, but still fit your thumb at the same time. Now, if you look at the overall build quality of the Go 4, it now comes with the rubber stoppers built into the overall frame. So the rubber stoppers are not gonna fail or peel off, which is one of the biggest drawbacks on the Go 3. You can see that I've already lost two rubber stoppers right here. Both the JBL Go 4 and the Go 3 are coming with 4.2 watt speakers. And if you look at the overall power ratings of these speakers along with their frequency range, you'll notice that the JBL Go 3 right here is gonna have a wider frequency range on the sub basses than the JBL Go 4. That might not seem like a big deal, but it will be noticeable if you're listening to a lot of orchestra music. If you take a good look at the JBL Go's, you'll notice that they're physically similar, except the Go 4 is gonna be slightly bigger. So how much bigger is it? It's just gonna be about a quarter inch wider. And it's hard to tell if you have them side by side. So imagine if you have them in your hand. What you will be able to feel in the hand is how heavy the JBL Go 4 is relative to the Go 3. The Go 4 is actually heavier than the Clip 5, and the Clip 5 was heavier than the Clip 4. So all in all, this is one of the heaviest of the Bluetooth speakers from JBL. Nevertheless, it weighs just about 0.62 pounds, which still makes it very, very light. And if you compare it to the Go 3, the Go 3 weighed 0.46 pounds in total. If you're trying to compare the Go's to the Clips, remember that the Go's are gonna have smaller batteries than the corresponding Clips. And the Clips here, like the Clip 5, can last you up to 12 hours of battery life. The Go 4 is coming with a larger battery, giving you seven hours of battery life, and it comes with a 3.2 watt per hour battery, which is about two watts smaller per hour than you get on the Clip 5. So the Clip 5 has about a 40% larger battery. Then you look at the Go 4 versus the Clip 5, it will take about three hours to fully charge both of them because the Go 3 took about 2.5 hours to charge and that's because it has the smallest 2.6 watt per hour battery relative to its peers. But if you're trying to figure out what is the biggest upgrade between the Go 4 and the Go 3, it's gonna be the ability to pair it with the JBL app. Because now you can pair it, you can do something that you couldn't do on the Go 3. So that means you could customize the EQ to make it sound better for your ears, and you could set it to your personal audio preferences rather than the signature JBL sound. 
which for a lot of us sounds great. We're not going to really change it too much, but what if you want to listen to jazz? Maybe you want to up the bass. Maybe you want to have a party. You might want to increase and max out all the settings in that EQ, because then this can get very loud and you can hear a lot of thumping. Another key feature of the JBL GO 4 is that it's coming with the JBL AuraCast. So if you have two JBL GO 4s, you can now pair them together so that they can play the same audio, becoming party speakers. And that's something you can also do along with your Clip 5. So you can start pairing these together and I think it's in response to companies like Sonos and Bose having offerings where their speakers can be interlinked together. And I think JBL really felt out, so now they finally added AuraCast to their speakers. The JBL has also updated the clips on the Clip 5. So if you take a look at the clip, the Clip 5 is going to have a taller but less wide clip, so it's going to be easier to put on your belt buckles, while this is going to have the wider clip, so this might be better for a book bag strap. So you're going to have a similar change on your Go series. Now they put the loop on the right corner, which means it's going to be easier to take around with you and keep on your finger, and it's more balanced, versus here, which was a little bit less balanced. But one thing you want to note, you cannot place your Go on all four directions. It can only stand up this way. It cannot stand up this way. While on your previous JBL, you can make it stand straight or horizontally. So I'm really happy that JBL has been listening and making changes for the changes that we really wanted. We wanted larger batteries inside our devices. We wanted more power. We wanted bigger bass. We wanted the ability to adjust it on our phones. We wanted party mode. And JBL has added that, and they've done it in the JBL way, which is they try to keep it small. They try to make sure that we don't get this confused with a Sony or a Bose product, and they kept the price low, at least as low as they could, so I'm going to be real curious how this is going to turn out and how low the pricing is going to go here. Because if you look at the pricing between a Clip 4 and a Go 3, you can get a Go 3 for about $30. It tells about $50 for a Clip 4. Once these guys, like a Go 4, becomes $30, it's going to be hard not to recommend it because it does have a full sound. It has good battery life. And yet, it is still very durable and very light. And between all the different JBL offerings, which one do we recommend? Well, I think the JBL Clip 5 sounds the best. And that's because it has the updated woofer. It's also going to have the adjustable EQ, and the Clip 5 comes with the best form factor amongst all of the JBL Clips and Goes, at least in my opinion. Nevertheless, it comes with the highest price, so all of those features aren't free. But let's just put this in perspective. A Go 3 that you see here is going to cost you about $30 on sale today, at least at the time of this video. While a Clip 4, which is in this blue colorway, will cost you close to 50. So at this price, suddenly it gets more complicated. And to be totally honest, out of all the JBLs, if you can get a JBL Go 3 for $30, I think this is going to be the best deal. And that's because it's so small, it weighs basically nothing. It weighs just about 0.46 pounds. I also don't think that the Go 4 sounds much
much better than the Go 3, even though you can adjust the EQ. So again, I am picking the form factor, the lightweight and the portability in combination with having good audio quality. That's why I'm recommending the Go 3 if you can get this for 30, because for the value here at $30, you can't beat it. And that's also why I'm recommending the Clip 5, because the Clip 5, it does sound better than the Clip 4, while having the ability to adjust the EQ. And having the ability to adjust the EQ is more important inside of the larger speakers, like the Clip 5, than the Go's. Because the Go's are a little bit smaller, so you're not gonna get that huge full sound that will let you listen to all of the changes that the EQ curve will make. You can hear the difference, but it won't be pronounced or as pronounced as what you would hear on the Clip 5. So that's why we love the Clip 5. I think this is just gonna be a perfect value. And once the Clip 5, goes down on price. So once this gets to closer to $50, I'm not sure that you'll find a better Bluetooth portable speaker on the market than the JBL Clip 5, at least not at that price. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and please hit that like or subscribe button. It really does help support our channel. And I enjoy reviewing a lot of these JBL speakers because I like listening to music outside. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.